welcome back to our very last Games, Games, Games. And today's games, we're going to be doing some sewing on mazes. So in your package, everybody's going to get five different mazes, a whole bunch in here, and they're all sports related. You're also going to get some thread and a needle. So let's get started. We're going to use the sewing machine and then I'm going to show you a little bit later how you can use your thread and needle to do by hand. What I would suggest before you're going to um, sew right on this is actually do the maze. You can, and then this way it'll make it a little easier for you. I'm gonna use a highlighter to go around because I think it will be a little bit easier for you to see when you're sewing. All right, so let me do this really quick. Oh dear, oh, almost there. There, so that yellow line is where we're going to follow how to sew. So you slide it into the machine, drop the foot down when you're ready, put your needle down and start to sew when there's straight lines. Lift the foot up when you're going to turn a corner. It's a little tricky with the paper. Put the foot back down and start sewing again. And you keep doing this over and over when the, as the maze turns by lifting the foot up and down and sewing. When you're done the maze, pull it out cut off the extra string, and you're finished. All right, so now I'm going to teach everybody how to do a little sewing by hand on your mazes. So again, I'm gonna take my highlighter, and I'm just gonna highlight quickly the route on the maze so I know where I'm sewing. I think it'll be just a little bit easier for everybody. So I use a highlighter, but you can do a pen. And then you're gonna take your string. I would only do like an, an arm's length, maybe, long. Okay, and I've already threaded mine. I had a little help with my little um, needle threader. So I've threaded mine. I didn't quite double it up. I didn't pull it all the way down. I did not knot it at the end, because I'm going to show you. So we'll start where, I'm gonna start where the little boy is there, and I'm gonna push my needle right from the back up to the paper. Now when you pull it through, do not pull it all the way. We're gonna leave a tail at the back. And you can either hold it with your finger or probably a better way would be to put a piece of tape on the back to hold it so it doesn't pop through when you're sewing. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna be going, weaving it in or down, sorry, we already did the end and pull it and now we're going to go back up from the bottom and you can go as close as you want you can make it neat as you want and it's just going up and down with some stitches like this so i just did a couple there so i'm going pretty close to the hole that it came out of but you can make it uh, a little bit further away if you want. You can make your stitches really long, which I'll show you. I'll do a big one here. I did a big stitch there, or you can make it as tiny as you want. And you just keep going all the way until you get to the end of your mace. All right, so here is my finished mace. And on the back, you just cut off the extra and you can actually just put a piece of tape like you did for the start and tape it down so it doesn't fall out. I did, however, have a lot of uh, thread left over. So maybe the arm's length is a little too much. Uh, maybe, well, maybe for your arm is not as long as mine, but I did my whole arm and it was just a little too, too much thread I used. So as you can see, there's two ways of sewing. You could do the machine or you could do it by hand. Either way is fun. 
And online you can find lots of different mazes, not just the sports ones that I put in your package today. And you have all different colors of thread that you could maybe do at home. You have some different colors. So have fun. And I hope everybody enjoyed Games, Games, Games this summer. And we'll see you again. Bye-bye.